Hey guys, what the frig is going on? How's it going today? Can't believe it. Today's day 50, guys. 50 days of isolation vlogs. Back to back to bickety freaking back. Yeah, isn't that something? I, I can't believe that it's been 50 days of me doing this nonsense. That's pretty cool, says the guy who went back to back to bickety back for 2300 daily vlogs. I don't think I'll ever get there again. 2300 vlogs, holy crap, eh? Them were the days. Not really. Actually, they're they're better. <laughs> but right now, it's like, it's funny because uh, a lot of my uh, YouTuber friends are complaining that CPMs are down. That's uh, the cost per mile. It's what you make on YouTube. And I'm over here like, whatever. Just do it because you want to do it. If you're doing it for money and you want more money, then do something else. <laughs> because... YouTube stopped being profitable in 2016, 17, when we had that stupid adpocalypse crash. <laughs> if you're like, that's why you don't do this here as a job. You do it because you want to do it. You're having fun doing it. Don't do it because it's all you can do. There's always something else you can do to make money. Start a business, develop a product, get a job, you know, whatever. <laughs> Uh, it's funny. It's because coronavirus right now a lot of companies aren't advertising because they're kind of not in business for obvious reasons, you know? Like Walmart, they don't need to advertise. Everybody's going there anyway, so why the hell would they waste money on advertisements? They're pretty much the only game in town. Like their competition's screwed. Canadian Tire's closed for crying out loud. Literally Walmart's the only game in our town. We don't have a Target. We don't have a Zellers. We don't have a a Kmart, we don't have, oh, this stupid thing's doing it again, where it only shits out like a quarter of a cup of coffee. These stupid K-Cups, they're so garbage. I don't know why it's doing that too, like there is completely a hole in the top, there's a hole in the bottom, it's just like the actual K-Cup itself is, I don't know, I think I'm just gonna call it. I think for the remainder of these K-Cups, I'm just gonna break them open and pour them into my reusable, just so I can guarantee 100% coffee every time I wanna use, I wanna have a coffee. Oh, so stupid, but yeah, like Walmart's the only game in town and I don't know what kind of ads are running on the videos of any. Only ads I've seen lately are for movie theaters and video games. So yeah, not a lot of people buying ad space nowadays. Apparently it's hurting the YouTube economy. Oh no, oh no, the YouTube economy. The entire economy is hurting. <laughs> it just, it is what it is. Anyway guys, today it's back to the weights. So we had our day of rest yesterday, even though we did 78 minutes roughly of farmer's walks. Today is going to be a weightlifting day. So today I probably won't be farmer's walking, but I may try and get some steppies in. You know what? I should probably go do that right now. Uh why, why sit at my computer? Actually, you know what? I'm watching a really interesting video on this thing my just died, my buddy's doing. And literally, he's doing 1,200 calories a day for two weeks. And apparently, it's great for cutting fat. And I think that's a bit low, but he's like, dude, do your research. You'll realize it's obviously not something you can maintain for a long period of time. But it's something he's trying, so I'm like, I'll, I'll look into it and see what it is. But 1,200 calories a day, that just sounds like a metabolism slayer to me. But if you do it for, you know, if you only do it for like two, three weeks, I guess it's not bad. and Your body will be able to bounce back. But if you do it for a prolonged period of time, your metabolism will slow down and 1,200 calories will become your maintenance, which... Okay. Wow, guys, not only is today day 50 of these isolation vlogs, it also marks the one year anniversary since I opened fire on the yard last year and destroyed the raspberry bushes. Uh, that was a year ago. Already. It feels like just yesterday. Remember, I went and picked up that wood chipper and we wood chipped the shit out of the freaking yard, all the trees that came down. And then there was a video on fixing it up because it wouldn't start so I had to rebuild the carburetor and then it wouldn't chip that well because it had shit blades so took them apart we went to dad's shop got new uh, bolts for it 
We uh, sharpened up the blades, all that fun stuff. That all happened a year ago. That is crazy. Anyway, I'm not making another coffee. Um, I'm gonna make myself a matcha tea. Good old matcha. I like these little travel packs, they're pretty sweet. Take them anywhere with you. So yeah, just watching that video there from uh, a bunch of stuff on that 1200 calories a day. <clears throat> and I was right, you can't do it longer than three weeks or otherwise your body, uh, your uh, metabolic rate will adapt because that's what happens. Your body thinks, okay, we got a problem here. There's not enough food in the world. So we need to start lowering the calorie expenditure and it'll do that by reducing your metabolic rate. However, you can always boost your metabolic rate by doing exactly what I'm doing now. Just going for a little walk, you know, getting your heart rate up, consume more calories, uh, weightlifting and all that. However, that's one thing that he told me was he's reducing his calories, but he's jacking his protein through the roof. So 90, he's aiming for like 75 to 80% of his calorie intake is protein, either in the form of an, a whey isolate and lean meats like chicken and fish so he's keeping his protein up and he is still lifting in the gym well his home gym like me so that way there it can help him burn off the fat because your stored body fat will be used as energy but like i said you can't do this any longer than three weeks or otherwise your body goes okay we got a serious issue we need to look into this so i guess it's all down to what you want to do am i going to give it a try Probably not. I'm already doing the high protein thing and the low everything else macros. And it has been working out. And by introducing carbs, I'm noticing an increase in growth everywhere. So that's pretty sweet. My only concern is, is back in March, before this whole isolation thing began, I was 200 and, well, I posted 209 pounds. And I'm back up to 230 pounds. However, this shirt fits me flawlessly and this is a large and back then it didn't. So obviously a lot of that weight is muscle because the scale isn't showing. Like I weighed last night at uh, 229. So I just said round it up to 230. The scale isn't showing the proper body fat, but when I looked, I think it is, mainly because I looked at the uh, the stats on my uh, phone of when I was 230 pounds, or when I faked my weight by pulling down, and it showed a 19.9% body fat, and last night when I stepped on the scale at 229 pounds, it only showed 18.4%. So I'm thinking it's getting some sort of a reading through the electric pads and it's somewhat accurate. I don't know. All I know is, is obviously something is working to my favor and I'm just going to keep on going the route I'm going. And when I get sick of it, we'll, we'll change things up. We'll go for a cut. But right now the objective is, is to put on muscle, get stronger, lift heavier, have fun. Have fun with this. Man, these vlogs of mine, eh, they change so often. It's like, started off doing all techie stuff, and then video game stuff, and then freaking mini bike and engine stuff, and painted the car last year, and all that fun stuff. And now look at it. Now look at the freaking channel. We're doing fitness. Whoever thought the channel would turn into a, like a fitness oriented, I never did. I honestly can say I never thought this would be what the channel would become. But it is, so hopefully you all enjoy it. Anyway, I'm going to rock a piss, grab my matcha, head upstairs, and uh, get punched in. Also, have you guys been noticing, because you've been washing your hands a lot more because they say so on the news, that your skin on your palms is starting to feel like leather? Maybe it's my soap. Uh, I'm using that soft soap antibacterial, so maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, let's pitter patter, pitter freaking patter, pitter patter puppy dog. Anyway, <laughs> all right, let's get after it. Got my matcha, and we're ready to get after it. Talk to you guys when I talk to you guys. All right, peace. Guess what, guys? Guess what? You guessing? You guessing? It's the last break of the day. 
I haven't vlogged since this morning, but that's okay. Last break of the day. Why are there fingerprints on my window? And why are there fingerprints on my window? Those are like way too skinny to be mine. Oh, whatever. So a while ago, right, I'm coming down the stairs like I am right now. Just coming down the stairs and all of a sudden, right in my face, a friggin' wasp. No, not a murder hornet. Those dirt daubers I got in the garage, if you've been following for a while, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I got pecked off in the face, but it's like, what the hell? And I turn around and it's like, it's flying right here. It's like, nah. So I literally like swung out and I punched it. I punched it square in the face and it literally did a wah, 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 boom. And like, into the carpet so then i gave it the hammer of god boom and finished it off but like i don't know how they get in the house but those crafty little bastards got a hole somewhere that they're getting in but they get in and i punch them and they die so whatever anyway on my breaks the reason why i haven't vlogged is because hey, i didn't really have much to talk about well i do have stuff to talk about but <clears throat> um i figured i would rather do some other stuff here you know what Let's fake a tripod. I wish I can get that a little higher. A little, just a little higher. Well, I'm not going to be taking any Metamucil today, so let's see if this works. Holy crap, is that ever on stable mutation? Okay, I'm uh, mixing up a shake, that's why I... Uh... So we're going to put some Platinum Cetraline Malate. No, um, a lot of you probably heard about Canada's little gun fiasco there. Mr. Trudeau decided to ban anything that looks like an assault rifle. And this is what's funny. A Ruger 10-22, 22 long rifle. Chances are if you're a kid and you've shot a rifle, that was probably the first thing anybody let you shoot. I know it was for me. And the one I shot was a bolt action, single fire. Pretty basic, you know, rim fire. Next to no kick, like they, they don't have any recoil to them. They're pretty weak. But that was the first rifle I ever fired in my life was a Bolt action, 10-22, uh, or a 22 long rifle, I should say, and uh, they're fun. I I, I call them, um, I call it a plinking rifle. Literally, to me, that's what it is. It's literally just a plinker. You know, you pay 15 bucks, you get 1,500 rounds, or is it 2,000? Can't remember what brush he was selling. But you get a whole bunch of ammo for like dirt cheap. You go out to the sand dam or to the sand pits. Set up some targets, pop cans, Gatorade bottles, whatever. We used to, uh, we used to just grab the blue box and take it out there and set up targets and patink, patink, patink. You know, it's a squirrel gun. It's it's weak. Could you kill somebody with it? Sure. You can kill somebody with a freaking potato masher though. But anyway, I digress. Um, what I'm getting at is, if you bought a stock Ruger 10-22. That's okay, because the stock Ruger 1022, no wood grain, wood grain stock, standard steel barrel, everything it just looks like a hunting rifle. But let's say you decide to trick out your Ruger 1022, put a tactical collapsible stock and uh, a, a, a secondary barrel grip and a red dot sight, and you buy a black uh, polycarbonate body for it, and now it looks like an AR-15. That, my friends, is illegal. Still the same damn gun. Still a Ruger 10-22. Still just a squirrel rifle. Still the most inaccurate round you'll ever fire out of a rifle ever. It's like, oh, you want to shoot 30 feet away? You gotta aim up a lot because she's gonna lob. If you ever shot it, you know what I'm talking about. They're not exactly known for their uh, supreme accuracy. So Trudeau decided if it looks like an assault rifle, it's being banned. And I think he said you have two years to turn it in or else. Or else what? Uh -huh. Go on, blend. You just a couple hits. I don't want it to get too frothy. It's already partially there. I hate that. It's gross. All right. Well, he's right behind me. I almost stepped on my dog. Let's drop this down. I love this blender. I don't know if I said it how many times yet, but guys, this was like my best investment. It's great for all platforms. Oh man. <clears throat> I don't know, it must be that citrullium malate. It just gives it like a Sour Patch Kid sugar taste. And by the sugar, I mean the sour part. Holy crap. Now my big question is, is it this? Oh yeah. 
Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now I know how they make fuzzy peaches. They just make the jup jups and roll them in that shit. So tonight is a workout night. So lift, lift, lift for the fun of it. So that's what's going to be happening tonight. And then tomorrow is a anything goes. But I've already done like 30 minutes of of uh, freaking farmer's carries today. That's basically what I did. Every break, my break at 10.30, my break at noon 30, my break at two, my break at three, came down here, did farmer's carries. Uh, knocked off about 100 calories per carry. I'm currently sitting at 2,000 calories down the hole. So that's pretty sweet. Sitting at 4,000 steps, even sweeter. And tonight, it's lifting night. So I'm already all primed and ready to go. I was thinking like, like I don't know if you guys can see that on my hands. That's from uh, the farmer's carries, those bumps just below where my fingers bend. They hurt like a son of a bitch, let me tell you. Um, calluses, I think they're called. It's from pinching, from the, the way I'm holding them. They're, they're pinching up against the, I guess, excess skin on my hands or some nonsense. It friggin' sucks. But I was looking at the benefits for doing farmer's carries and I didn't realize all the muscles it'll actually, <laughs> it actually targets. Like I know it targets your shoulders and your, your grip definitely will get wrecked. Like I let go and then all of a sudden like this is just right friggin' torqued. It, it hurts. It gets like super veiny. I look like a bodybuilder. It's hilarious. But it'll also like if you do a proper posture, like stand right upright, keep your shoulders good and locked in place. Keep your arms slightly bent. You can actually work every muscle in your body because you're walking, so you're working your legs. You're using your glutes and your abs to maintain posture so you're not slouched over or leaning back too far. So you're maintaining your posture. So you're really putting the pressure to your body to maintain proper position while you're walking with the heavy weight. So I got thinking, I'm like, man, what am I gonna do when these 40 pounders just don't feel like I'm not enough and I want to go up. And my solution was, for doing my overhead press, I moved these plates to the bar. So I have these 25 pounders that I only have two of. And I left the other 450 pounder or 25 pounders down there. Worst case scenario, hopefully it'll take. But I got these right here that currently have 20 pounds on them. And I could always strip them off and load the, the 25 pounds on them per side. So go 50 pounds and then do farmer carries with those. Now what I was thinking about doing was going to Home Depot and buying a 8 foot 4x4 four four, uh, pole, like a 4x4 four four piece of lumber and getting some uh, some pipes and some U-bends in the actual mounts. I found a thing on uh, buildables on how to build your own farmer carries for outside for instance. And I was going to build them so I could load my plates on them. Now the actual farmer carries alone weigh about 40 pounds. And then I could actually load the 225s, one per side, like all four months, so I'd add an extra 100 pounds to it. So it'd be 180 pounds that I'm carrying. And then I could do that down and up the yard. Right now, it probably wouldn't be a good idea because the yard's still pretty squishy. I thought about it. I thought about it. I'm like, you know what? That'd be kind of cool to do that. But the problem is, is freaking Home Depot's closed. And to order anything from there, it's a pain in the ass. Like my buddy, he's a contractor and he's been trying to get shit from Home Depot and Rona and he's been ordering like crazy. He's just having a hell of a time getting the orders to go through or getting through to them because they're so backed up from people who are currently at home in quarantine, bored out of their minds, so they're repainting their house and they're doing like house renovations. So that's another thing. That's another thing that's going on that's causing uh, a lot of... Uh, problems is everybody's busy they, they got to find something to do so they're like oh you know what maybe now it's a good time to tackle that project to repaint that room or to rebuild this or to do that or whatever so they're buying more supplies and the problem is the supply stores are closed and they're running on a limited support service model and that support service model is impeding some people from doing their real jobs while other people are just trying to keep busy cleaning up projects so hopefully one of the things they decide to reopen is socially distanced freaking home renovation stores. Because let me tell you, I want to build shit this summer. I want to build my damn freaking farmer carries. All right, guys, work day's over. Let the workout begin. 
Let's pitter patter and have at her. Slam through a hard one. Whatever that means. guys and that's the workout we're done I'm gonna go mix up a quick protein shake and then hit the showers and then it's friggin dinner time my favorite time oh hell yeah all right protein shake down so I'm gonna grab a shower then we'll make dinner I'm gonna put a charge to this camera it's about to die that's why I didn't film the hammer curls and yeah all right, talk to you guys in a bit. All right, all done dinner, or showering. Now it's dinner time. We got three pieces of this cod, piece of chicken, and some veg, broccoli and cauliflower, 100 grams each. Dig in time. Hello guys, I ate. Thought I would take a stroll over here. 
show you what's going on. Man, I gotta get rid of this piece of crap and that piece of crap. But uh, yeah, a year ago today, it's when I finished doing all this. Obviously, some of it's making a comeback. Freaking dogs. This stuff over here is making a comeback, eh? Yeah, it's trying. It's trying. And then all under the tree is chair still there. Same with that friggin' barrel. <sighs> yeah. Amazing what happens in a year. It's amazing. But this is all slowly starting to rot away. I just gotta watch it when I mow over here because there are some stray rocks that I'm hitting. That's what cocked over my mower. It bent to the deck, so like there's, there's one right there. Freaking stray rock, you know? Can't run over that. Something's like making holes in my ground. I wonder if it's moles. Oh, stupid's taking a shit. But yeah, guys, a year ago was when I was out here. Still see a lot of the thatch from where all the branches were laying. And that last year was nuts. Clearing all this crap out slowly. Getting everything done. And right after this, mid-June, started Operation Dirty Bird. Bringing the beast back to life. That was like a month long project. Great big learning, learning curve. That was fun. Yeah, freaking memories. Are you pooping? No, you're not. You're just barking at nothing. You're so stupid. Go in the house. Back it up. Back it up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Yeah, one year ago that happened, and we've been vlogging for 50 days. Two milestones in one day. That's pretty sweet, I think. All right, guys, I literally just went downstairs and paced my kitchen just so I can finalize my 10K steps. So that's day two of getting 10,000 steps. Fun. But anyway, I'm going to shut her down here and call her quits for tonight. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. 50 freaking days of vlogs and a year since I did the backyard. Fun times. Like the video if you liked it. Hate it if you hate it. Whatever. Leave a comment, and until next time guys, stay safe and peace the frig out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.